Oh. Hey, we're live. What's going on? Just gonna get something to prop up this audio so it's a little bit better. Hold on a second. Uh, about a K70 box. <laughs> Lift the microphone up a little bit better so I can. A little closer to me so you can hear it a little bit better. Hopefully that sounds okay. Uh, right. We're live. This is Pentax Talk, Pentax Chat. Uh, I do these occasionally if you've never watched these before. Um, just an opportunity to for me to discuss how I feel about the latest gear that's coming out and uh, just chat with anybody that's live or you could leave a comment after the fact. Uh the chat's usually available like 12 hours later, but uh, hello from Norway, Hans. Uh, and um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about a few things before we get into the KF and start talking about that. Uh, I've got a beer today. We've got a Holland beer. Somebody's from the Netherlands, uh, but that's what I'm drinking today. All right there. I went to a... Uh, Greek restaurant in Tampa, Florida, just above it, a little Greek community called uh, Tarpon Spring Springs, and they uh, <laughs> they they had on their menu it was authentic Greek food, um, but they they said Greek beer, so I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna get a Greek beer, and they gave me a grolsch, so I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> um, okay, let's uh, get into some Pentax stuff. Uh, first, I wanted to show off a cool. Full camera. I don't know if I put this on social media. I don't know if anybody saw this. Check that out. Look at that. Somebody's flushing the toilet upstairs. Awesome. But this is the uh, Q10. I've got I got the the pink version. <laughs> but uh, if you don't know that the the Q is mirrorless and it's got uh, crop factor is five point two or five point seven. So I've got it. It's always great to adapt lenses for mirrorless systems. So I've got a MD mount, Minolta MD mount for this uh, Soligor. If you can see that, it's a 90 to 230 f4.5 lens. And it's got that cool um, kind of Tacumar uh, M42 mount uh, build quality to it. Uh, really nice lens. I hadn't used it yet. I just mounted this thing up and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I've had several Q10s and um, they're fun cameras. I just decided to buy it again. I, I buy them and sell them. And then I'll, I'll like, like six months later, I'm like, why did I sell that? I'm just going to buy it again. So this was, I got this from Japan, this uh, camera. Uh, there was 32 watchers on eBay. It was $150 free shipping. And it came with the uh, kit lens, which is a, what is it? Five to 15, I believe. So with the crop factor, you know, it's, it's around the typical uh, kit lens, but a uh, very fun camera. If you haven't messed around with these, you get them for like 150 bucks. And I recommend, <clears throat> sorry, buying one of these uh, thumb thumb grips because by itself it doesn't really. Since it's so tiny, it helps you to lock in your thumb. These little thumb grips are like six bucks. So uh, that's that. And I will be taking some shots and probably posting them on Facebook. I've got some links below. Um, so check that out. Other thing is. Uh, Lee Iveson um, had an autumn photo challenge, um, and I've got my shot in. <laughs> well, I hadn't made the video yet, but I've got the shot that I'm going to add to the challenge. Uh, go to Lee Iveson's um, YouTube, and all, uh, several of the other YouTubers uh, have already submitted their, their photos, so check out all those videos on his site. Uh, really good shots in there. Really, really strong stuff. Um I took my shot with the oh, K70, and it, actually with this lens, the, the 20 to 40 limited is what I did in my shot. I'm not going to spoil it, my video or anything, but that's what I, I use it with. So uh, let's talk about the, the KF. I've got notes. <laughs> They're like all over the place. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, this this is my thoughts on them. Uh, if, Feel free to put your uh, 
put your thoughts out there as well. Uh, the, the KF, it just came out of nowhere. It was just like, boom, they just released it. I, I, I don't know if the K, the KP was like that as well. Nobody anticipated it just was released. And um, the, the difference in this is it's pretty much, if you've seen everybody's either making fun or annoyed that it is, it is a K70, basically. Uh, I held it up to the pictures and everything. And every, every corner of the body is exactly the same. Um, it, it reminds me, I think people are upset because they called it a new camera, like a, like a KF. If they would just called it like a K7, K70 limited, it would be a, a totally, it, I think people would be okay with that. But when they're releasing it as a new camera, which is not really, I think that's what uh, might perturb some people. But um, I'll just, there's only a couple, a few differences between the, the K70 and it. The, the, the dots on the LCD is, is uh, there's just under 100,000 more dots. So that it's going to have more resolution there on, on the, the back screen. And it's going to, the other thing is it's just going to put in those custom modes that they've released, uh, those seasonal custom modes, image image modes for the um, K3 Mark III and the K1. Uh, let me know below if you're going to buy this camera. Um, it starts out at, uh, supposedly it's going to be going to be available to order and ship on November 25th. The uh, price is $850 for the black. They've got a limited uh, quantity of a white and blue version, if you hadn't seen that, but there's only 700 um, copies of each of those. And uh, for $100, you could get the uh, $100 more, $950, you could get the, uh, on the black version, you could get the um, 18 to 55 kit lens, the, the WR, the weather resistant one. So it has all the same uh, features of the K70 and the K70. Some people might say it's old, but it, it, it stands up. It's a Great, great camera. Uh, the K70 is just under six hundred dollars US right now. Um, so six hundred dollars minus, you know, or eight fifty. I mean, two hundred fifty dollars more. You could get this. I would say it would be really cool if Pentax did this. They would, uh, since it, it's so similar, and a lot of people are saying it's not not the same camera. If they did a firmware update and offered some cooler stuff on this, like added in some maybe, because the video is the same, maybe they added uh, 1080 60p in there, uh, which doesn't really sound that awesome, or just something, something new. I was, uh, I was, I hadn't, hadn't seen what they were going to put as far as, I was like, oh, maybe the, uh, the processor inside is different, but it's, it's the exact same as the, the K7. I was uh, kind of looking through that, and I was like, well, they could have at least put uh, the, it's got the Prime M2, or I, if this Roman numerals, it's 1002. But if it was, if they put the uh, Prime 5 in it there, it might be a little bit faster and might be uh, a little bit better processing in there. Uh, they didn't do that. The, the, the Prime, or uh, Prime 4, at least. Uh, Prime 4 was in the KP. So the, the KP was fat, a little bit faster and, and had some other different uh, features in there than the K70 because it was released after the K70. Um, what else here? Uh, let's see here. I, I've, I've heard a lot of people say the, the K70 is discontinued. I have not seen that for, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Kobe's video, if you hadn't seen that, watch that on the, the Kentucky Fried camera. <laughs> um, but, I've heard people say the K70 is discontinued. I have not seen that anywhere. And before this camera came out, and I was thinking there was going to be another, you know, uh, APS-C camera come out, I was thinking, oh, the K70 is going to be discontinued. Anytime they discontinue a camera, the price goes way down, and the K70 is still available everywhere. So I, I don't think it's actually been discontinued. I haven't seen any official word that that is the fact. But, um, yeah, I'm I was going to buy a K70 like discontinued because the 
K, uh, when the K50 was discontinued, it went down to $300. When the KS2 was discontinued, it went down to $350. And they had a flash and a extra warranty, and they had all this stuff with it. And it was like, uh, uh, that's when I bought the, those cameras. So it was kind of hard to pass up on those. So that's why I'm, I was kind of waiting. I was like, I'll, I'll buy a K70 an extra one and put it on the shelf because I love the K70. If you don't know, that's like my favorite camera, even though there's better Pentax cameras out there. That's the one I prefer. Um, and th yeah, uh, I saw that people said it was discontinued because they were, and I saw this, that they're having trouble finding the parts for the K70, maybe because they're older or something. I don't know what, what, what the deal is, but uh, the uh, KF actually weighs like three grams less. So, uh, from what I've seen, Rico has not said that they're putting different parts in there. They just said the functionality is the same. So that makes me think that there are a few like minor different parts in there that might, um, might be a little bit different, but this, but this release reminds me of the K30 to K50 and they called the K50 a totally different camera, but it was like the same camera. <laughs> the only difference was it, it said that the, the ISO performance or not performance, they just added another higher ISO in there, which was that some ridiculous ISO that nobody would use. And, and it was the exact same camera. So if you want to buy a K, K50, look at K30s. <laughs> they'll, they'll be a little bit cheaper and it's, it's pretty much the same camera. Um, the USB charger chains to USB-C. Yeah. Uh, Woohoo. But it still has a micro USB on, you know, in the, the camera. If you want, I never trans, I always transfer my, my card, but uh, it has that on the camera. Um, and let's see here. Again, let me know if you're going to buy this camera. I, that white is kind of cool. I'll, t I'll tell you if I'm going to buy this camera. I'll tell you why if, if I am going to buy it. But I think the main thing is, this is the newest camera. So if they release a firmware update, like I said, that's going to have some new stuff in it, they'll they'll give it to the KF and they won't release it on the K70. So, um, <clears throat> let's and this oh, it did say it's going to be available in the Rico shop. So I think they might release it in the Rico shop before it's on B and H. And I've ordered from the Rico shop uh, online shop. Um, and I recommend buying whenever you buy a gear, buy it from on the, the Rico shop because uh, I chatted or whatever with Rico. And they said that if you buy something from their shop, you will get it quicker. Like if it's on pre-order than you would if you buy it on B and H. Um, all right. So everybody, everybody was disappointed even though this camera came out of nowhere because everybody wants the K3 Mark III <laughs> or K, K1 Mark III, I'm sorry. Uh, they, they want that camera to be released. So I, I'm, I'm uh, kind of curious on what what everybody wants in, in a K, K1 III. Um, I've written down a, here a few things. Excuse me a second. That that I would kind of like, or I think they should, I, I'm, they should uh, add to the K1 Mark III. Let me know in the comments what you think they should change or add to that camera. I would say, even though I like the articulating screen on it, it just needs to be the regular, like all around articulating screen that instead of that, I, I don't, I mean, it's, it's better than no articulating screen, but just add the, the fully articulating screen. Um, and they need to add in that stuff that they, a bunch of stuff that they have on the K3 Mark III. They need to redo the menus. They need to um, add in the video features. And they, the, with the video features, they also, they hadn't done this yet on the K3 Mark III. They need to, um, uh, you know, have the video not stop and just, or it just picks up on another clip if, if you're into the video stuff. Uh, more frames per second, because it is kind of slow, even though it's a full frame and mostly used for landscape, but uh, I know there's a lot of people that use it for portraiture. So uh, let me know, are the frames per second uh, fast enough or would you like more? Um, and just a typical stuff that you would do with any 
newer camera. Um, they were on the Prime uh, 4 uh, processor, so I'm assuming they'll go with the Prime 5 processor that the K3 Mark III has. Um, and uh, yeah, just better ISO performance. I mean, that ISO performance is incredible, but anyway, um, maybe some more megapixels in there. Um, and uh, I, I think they should do this. They should, when they release this, like the 24 to 70, they should make that a PLM and make it a kit that goes with that. And that would like be, I would uh, think that would make everybody super happy. Um, I think that's, that's what should be on the K1 Mark III. All those things, I think, and keep the price point. Uh, under two grand, I'm not sure if that will happen, but uh, yeah, keep it keeping that two grand USD. Uh, if you add this kit lens with it, make it a little bit more. And then this this other one goes back to um, well, kind of skip to to marketing right here. So if they did give the like a 24 to 70 PLM, what you do when you release that, release it with a K3 Mark III. Do not release the lens separate. Say so this lens will be available separate in six weeks. So you'll get those people that are wanting to whip out their credit card to buy this new lens, and they'll just go ahead and buy this K1. So maybe some people might hate that, but I think it's a good uh, marketing scheme, and I think uh, people would probably yeah probably probably go in for that. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say about the the, the KF. Go back to it. Um, I know a lot of people don't consider it something that they're going to buy. Um, and a lot of people are still using their, their K5, you know, 2S or whatever. And uh, they hadn't upgraded at all. And I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you that the fantastic cameras, everything, but if, if you're not buying products new from Pentax, they're not going to, keep on going. So you have to buy new products. I'm not saying to buy this KF, but I'm saying buy some new lenses. Don't always buy used stuff. I mean, uh, if, it, if it fits in your budget, buy it new, you'll get a warranty on it and all that, all that good stuff. But um, yeah, the, the people aren't buying cameras as much as they used to. So you have to really uh, invest in the company if you want, if you've if you are invested in the company and you want to keep it going, you have to buy new products for them. And I think that's kind of what this is. They're like, well, we've already got the, this body. We don't have to put as much research into it. We can just like re-release it kind of in some sort of way. Um, they should, probably should have put a few more extra things in here, but that's, it is what it is, I guess, you know? So, um, uh, am I buying it? Am I buying the, the KF? I haven't made up my mind. I said go to the Rico shop if you want to buy it, and it, it made it sound like it was going to be only at the Rico shop. I'm sure they'll sell it at B&H, but uh, from what I saw, it said available at the Rico shop, so they want you to buy it from them. And I would recommend buying it from them because it gives them more money. They're not paying uh, extra money for from B&H or Adorama or whatever. So... I would recommend doing that way. That would get, it gives them more money for research and uh, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, as far as the shop is concerned, since I bought a lot of things from them, they, they sent me out a coupon for like $200 off when they uh, released that 16 to the 50 PLM lens. So that's another reason why why you should buy from the shop. I did uh, no sales tax. I didn't have sales tax. I generally do from B and B and H. It depends on your state or whatever. But uh, something to think about there. Um, do I think they're going to release the K one Mark three next? I would get that. That's just on the map. It's got to be right. That's got to be their next camera. I mean, or the or are they gonna actually do like a another APS-C uh, when the K one two was released? I mean, it's it's there's not much difference than it in the K one uh, one. Uh, yeah, so yeah, they've got yeah they've got to update that or put something else out. And a lot of people were saying about the KF. It's like why they even call it the KF? It's 
it's the same camera. Why don't they just call it the K70 Mark II? It's because they don't use Mark II or Mark III or whatever for uh, prosumer cameras. It's just for their flagships. So that's why they they would do that, change the name for that. They could have called it the, the K70 Limited or Limited Series or something like that. But that, I mean, that kind of refers to the lenses there. But anyway, um, a camera I would like to see is not a K1 Mark III. I'd like to see something along the lines of a lighter full frame camera. It still came out and all that, but just a little bit lighter and um, And just, I mean, keep the specs uh, the same as the K1 Mark II. You re uh, release that and with a lighter body, but it, I mean, they'd have to do some research and, and making a new body that would be lighter weight and have a flip out screen, lighter weight. And um, just because if, if I'm hiking, I'd, I'd like just something to take. I mean, it'd still be weather sealed, like the weather sealing of like a K70 or something like that, but it doesn't have to be as rugged, but just you could put the same, uh, you know, prime, four processor in there and um, not put any extra special features in there. Just keep the price, you know, around $1,200, but you'll have a full frame sensor in there. That's what I really would like a lighter body with a full frame sensor. You could even use that, um, you know, the, the APS-C battery, the LI, what was it? One, one Oh nine, whatever it is, uh, that lighter, lighter battery, just to keep the weight down and whatnot. You, you don't need two card slots. Just, I mean, they're, just, yeah, just keep it as basic as basic, just like that K1000. <laughs> awesome camera. I mean, you're just taking pictures. It's what what you see through your eye that comes out of that camera. You, you have a great sensor in there, um, or great film if you're using the K, K1000. Um, and just, yeah, that way you'd be, it would be, uh, I think that would be a, I think people would buy that, right? I mean, yeah, uh, I would, I know, but <clears throat> all right. Uh, any questions here? Yeah, the KF is not a bad camera. It's a K70. The, the K70 is still awesome camera. I don't know. It was released five years ago or something like that. And I mean, it's still, it still holds up. I could take a picture with this and you could, take a picture with your newest Sony. I don't think you're going to see a huge difference at all. Um, and it's just fun to use. I, I just like it. So, And it's, I mean, the, all the features in here are just incredible, just like they've done throughout the years. Their little, uh, you know, prosumer cameras have more features in it than, than the other cameras from the other manufacturers. I mean, this combo right there, man. If you don't have that 20 to 40, you're missing out. I'm just telling you. Just look at that. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. How long have I been live? 23 minutes. I was going to try to make it at 30. So you guys got <laughs> to ask me some questions. wonder if I could adapt this Q lens to this, what would it look like? What else we got? Um, has anybody ever seen this, uh, a Q camera, this, this color? Uh, expose the sensors, the elements. Look at that. Look at that tiny sensor. Q10 right there. I need to make a video on how to set this thing up. I've had a few of these, but... I just bought this because I knew I'd um, end up selling it and buy it again in a different color. <laughs> but uh, it there was it was 150 bucks and I had, there was 32 watchers on it. So you put this lens on there. But I mean, if you hadn't if you hadn't bought the the, the Q series before, you need you need to buy one of these cameras. They are a ton of fun. 
Yeah, the, the 35 macro, I need to buy that again. I don't have it. I'm I'm I'm, so, I'm upset with myself that I sold that. This is, there it is. Look at that. I guess I could turn it on for you, huh? Oh, where's my glasses? Oh. Um, let's see here. Menu. Looks like typical menu, right? Yeah. Typical Pentax men menu. 12 megapixels. Uh, crop factor 5.2 or 5.7. I can't remember. No camera and card. <laughs> no camera and card. No card and camera. Uh, there we go. Anyway, uh, let me read some of these comments and I will get out of here. Yeah, the 35 macro is, is wicked. I need to buy that again. Uh, F1.9. I think that's the only one that I didn't, uh, the, for the Q camera, the F1.9, I think it's the, the 50 millimeter, millimeter equivalent. I, uh, okay. It's labeled as zero one. Okay. I, I couldn't remember which one it was. And that came on the K, what, what not what is it? QS one. I almost bought one of those and I put an offer and the guy declined it. Uh, Eddie Summers, I would forego the, the 21 F3.2 and the 40 millimeter F2.8 in favor of the 20 to 40. I can see where you say that, but I, I just purchased that 21 just because it was cheap and, um, you know, prime, prime, sharper, sharper. But uh, there's something magical about that 21. I mean, uh, you know, I like, I like, I like this, you know, this, cause this is at F2.8 for this 20 to 40, but, um, and just the, just the fact that it's a little smaller when I take that 21 out, I take it with my, uh, 300 millimeter DA star uh, F4 and it, that, that lens fits in my pocket where this doesn't. And, um, you know, it's equivalent to like 30 millimeters. So. It, it, I really like that and enjoy that lens. I'm keeping them both. I made my, made up my mind on that. <clears throat> uh, uh, yes, Hans, you do need a 20 to 40. <laughs> Trust me on that. You can thank me later. Oh, you have the, the 12. I, I missed your, your earlier comment. The 12, 24 F four. I think you uh, were you on Facebook saying that, that you would really enjoy that? Somebody was saying that they really enjoyed that lens. That is one lens that I hadn't used. I'd used the Sigma 10 to 20 and, and I was okay with that. Um, that, that DA star 16 to 50 F 2.8. If that's a PLM, that is a better lens, but if it's not the PLM, I actually like this 20 to 40 better than the original 16 to 50. It's just a better lens. Um, to me at least. Uh, Eddie says he had the, basically all of them of, of the limited series for the, the DA, um, the 15, the 21, the 35 and the 40. The reason I like the 40 is because it, you could use it on the K1 and you didn't have to put it. Uh, it didn't have any vignetting on the side. That's what was really cool about it. And it, but when you're using it on the, um, you know, APS-C, it's like, 60 millimeters and it's like at a focal length that I really wouldn't use. So why is it uh, 20 to 40 better in the star lens? I don't, it, the colors are the original, uh, 16 to 50 is the colors are a little bit better. Um, it's almost like they, they pop too much on that, that star lens. Um, the, the, if I remember correctly at 16, it was slightly soft, um, but, uh, super lens, but I, just, just the handling on this 20 to 40, uh, both, both, both those lenses are optically fantastic, but th this, the colors seem more natural to me on this. Um, it's just I, I I bought this just because I was seeing other people's pictures. And I was like, wow, that's a great picture. This is something you shouldn't do. But I just kept on seeing fantastic shots that everybody was was, was using this lens for. And I was like, 
okay, I don't know. I'm a prime guy. I'm not going to buy this lens. I went ahead and bought it. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I was like, and this is up there with, with, with prime quality as, as far as that's concerned. And just, just the, the size and the feel and just the, the way it, everything about it works. Um, I, I'm getting to my, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's pretty quiet. I mean, it's not too, too loud, but I mean, it, it, it works really well. And I think you'd be happy, happy with it. You know, I originally bought one it was $800. I think it's like five, 500, maybe 600 right now. It's, it's, it's gone quite a bit down in, in price when it originally came out. So it, it's definitely worth the money. Yeah. You can use the 20 to 40 yeah, on full frame too. Um, and I mean, you don't really have to put it in crop mode, but there's some, there's some, um, focal length in there that, it does kind of vignette on the side. It probably wouldn't put it in crop mode. I'll probably just, uh, you know, in your editor, crop down because it's probably crops more than it needs to if you were in that mode. Yeah, it did. It actually seemed a little bit quieter than I thought it usually is. Let me focus on something else. Let me see this. Because that, that sounded really quiet. quiet. I mean, it is. Yeah, it's it's quieter than 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 that uh, that macro thirty five. It just doesn't. Some of those like slam slam back and forth. This is the DC motor, not the whatever motor. Are, are those DC motors too? I'm not sure. Those are. I mean, they're just screw drive basic motor. This this one actually, I, I did a video on it, uh, doing it in video because it actually on the K seventy it does work. And video autofocus if you put it in continue focus and it's really horrible uh, if you want to watch that video just see how bad it is with video autofocusing uh it's it's loud with the mic right here on top it's a lot louder than than me just doing it right here but it, it's 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 not loud at all yeah i need you guys are gonna make me buy this 35 again aren't you <laughs> all right we're 32 minutes into it and uh uh let me know below if you're going to buy the kf or you don't really care you're going to wait for the some other camera but like i said you got to support uh pentax so uh if you've got a k5 mark whatever it is k k5 2s or whatever you hadn't bought anything since at least buy a lens you got to give pentax some money if you want to keep supporting the company so they'll Use that money to uh, research and buy and make uh, newer stuff for you. But there's tons of good stuff out there that you could get used. I, I buy used stuff myself, and I'm probably going to buy that 35 macro <laughs> used again. And, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, I don't know when I'll do another one of these again, but uh, Lee Iveson's photo challenge is coming up. I'll put a video out here in about a week or something. but. Um, Cheers, everybody. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.